Sensory adaptation is the process by which the brain becomes less sensitive to constant stimuli over time. This occurs because sensory receptors reduce their response to repeated exposure, allowing the brain to focus on new or changing information. Sensory adaptation happens in all the senses, including vision, hearing, touch, taste and smell. For example, when a person first enters a room with a strong scent, they notice it immediately, but after a while, the smell fades into the background. This ability helps the brain prioritise important stimuli while filtering out unnecessary details from the environment. Now let's look at how sensory adaptation works. When a stimulus is first detected, sensory receptors in the eyes, ears, skin, nose or tongue send strong signals to the brain. However, if the stimulus remains constant, the receptors gradually decrease their response. This happens because the nervous system is designed to focus on new or changing stimuli, which are often more important for survival. For example, if someone wears a watch, they might feel it at first, but the sensation quickly fades because their touch receptors stop responding to the unchanging pressure. This process helps conserve mental energy and allows the brain to respond more efficiently to new experiences. Now let's look at some examples of sensory adaptation. In vision, when a person moves from a bright outdoor setting into a dimly lit room, their eyes slowly adjust to the lower light levels, allowing them to see more clearly over time. In hearing, people who live near a busy street may initially find the traffic noise distracting, but over time, they stop noticing it. In touch, someone wearing new shoes might feel discomfort at first, but as their skin receptors adapt, the sensation fades. In taste, people who eat spicy food regularly may develop a higher tolerance and require more spice to experience the same level of intensity. These examples show how sensory adaptation helps people function more efficiently in their surroundings. Now let's explore some benefits of sensory adaptation. One benefit is that it prevents sensory overload. If the brain reacted equally to all stimuli, people would be constantly distracted by unimportant details, making it difficult to focus. Another benefit is that it allows people to stay alert to new and potentially important stimuli. By filtering out background sensations, the brain can quickly detect changes in the environment, such as a sudden loud noise or a shift in temperature. A third benefit is that it helps people adjust to new situations more comfortably. Whether adapting to different lighting conditions or getting used to a new pair of glasses, sensory adaptation allows for a smoother transition into different environments. Now let's look at some related concepts. One related concept is habituation, which is a decrease in response to a repeated stimulus, similar to sensory adaptation, but involving learning rather than sensory receptors. For example, a student who hears a ticking clock in the classroom may eventually stop noticing it because their brain has learned that the sound is not important. Another related concept is neural adaptation, which refers to how the brain itself changes its response to stimuli over time, affecting not just perception, but also behaviour. A third related concept is selective attention, where the brain actively focuses on certain stimuli while ignoring others, allowing people to concentrate on important tasks. These concepts all show how the brain manages sensory information to help people function efficiently in their daily lives.